back to the drawing board for Louisiana's congressional maps. At issue, the Voting Rights Act and whether the maps dilute the voting power of minorities here in the state. A challenge to Louisiana's maps has been on hold pending a similar case in Alabama. That case went before the U.S. Supreme Court and today the Supreme Court ordered Alabama to create a second majority minority district. Christina Mondragon joins us live from Baton Rouge with reaction from state lawmakers today. Christina. Today was the final day of the legislative session, but it was that major ruling in Washington, D.C. that had people talking today. Democratic State Senator Gerald Boudreaux says the Supreme Court ruling should lead to a review of the Louisiana congressional maps. The latest census shows blacks make up nearly one third of the state's voting age population. And the Supreme Court says with 30 percent of the population, six congressional districts, two of them need to be minority seats to reflect the population of those people in the state of Louisiana. Despite the ruling and orders from a federal judge to redraw the maps, Republican State Representative Charles Owen of Beauregard and Vernon Parishes stands by the maps. We had a very open and transparent redistricting process when we did this before, when we drew these districts. Um, the, the House staff here, um, uh, we, we had, we had uh, meetings all over the state. Uh, it, it's my appreciation and understanding is that we followed the letter, spirit, and intent of the law and the districts were drawn and then the districts were challenged in court and that's what we're waiting on uh, to find out if we get any more court direction on that. The big question is, what's next? I tried to get an interview with State Representative John Stavansky, the Crowley Republican who led the House GOPD in the redistricting efforts, but he declined for an on-air camera interview. Live in Baton Rouge, Christina Mondragon, KTC TV3.